Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. We're in the middle of the week. Hump day. Today's verse comes to us from uh, the book of Titus, Titus chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. And it says this, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. God's grace is the grace that brings salvation to man through faith in Jesus Christ. I mean, God does not check our balance sheet to see if we've earned enough points to receive his grace. No, he freely gave the gift of the Savior of the world. God's grace, the Lord Jesus Christ, saves a person that has sinned against God, that is opposed to God, that has rebelled against God, that has cursed God, has even said that they did not believe in God. If they would re but repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, they will be saved. I've often heard new believers say, um, you know, the things that I used to do, I don't do anymore. The things that I used to say, I don't say anymore. The, thing, the places I used to go, I don't go anymore. And they seem quite amazed in their life choices and how the desire, the desire of the heart has changed. So that's because grace teaches us to deny ungodly, ungodly and worldly lust, to live soberly, that is to be alert and have self-control, to live righteously, that is with others, and godly, that is not to take God seriously, not to take God for granted, that we are to live for him to live in a manner that would be well-pleasing unto the Lord in this age. The grace of God that leads to salvation, it teaches us how we are to live now, not just someday in the future, that we are to live lives that are well-pleasing unto God out of love and respect and having a desire to bring, bring glory and honor to our Heavenly Father and to our wonderful Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon our text today, that it would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow, yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.